satisfying to, to almost be there at the end, but you know, to basically play the match when you're not. Yeah, it would have been nice to be there at the end, like you said, but um, yeah, it was really important for us to get a win to finish off our campaign and, and win the Jason Gillespie Trophy, so happy to be able to contribute towards that. Yep, yeah, I've, I felt like I've been consistent, um, you know, probably just lack that bigger score and batting at five and six, it's, it is hard sometimes to, to play those match winning innings, I suppose, but yeah, really liked the opportunity to go up four today and um, yeah, have that opportunity to, to bat a bit longer and, and get a big one and yeah, I was just happy to finish off the way I did. Do you think you go higher next year, bat higher next year? Oh, look, I'd love to go higher, I think everyone would, but um, yeah, the guys at the top and, you know, either Travis or Colin who've been batting at three, um, it's, it's hard to get any higher, but um, yeah, definitely love that opportunity today. What kind of change does it need to make next year to return to finals? Because the, the, top, the top three or four didn't, didn't apply this year, and that's where, that's where it all matters, so what, what can you do next year? Yeah, I think we just, uh, I think, think there's no reason to change too much. We've, yeah. We know we've got the quality of players that we need, and we proved that, you know, with our success last season with a very similar group, so um, yeah, just a few things haven't clicked this season, and um, it's probably just really freeing ourselves up and playing with more, more confidence and freedom is probably lacking at times throughout this tournament but um, you know we showed tonight and we, today and we showed a couple of games ago against the Hurricanes who have been the, the leading team in this competition exactly what we can do when we're, when we're playing at our best. What about Harry Nielsen? Is he someone that can make, maybe be a front line force next season? Yeah he's definitely, uh, definitely put his hand up and you know I was really impressed with how calm he was out in the middle today for, for someone with you know as little experience as he's had, I think it's probably his fourth or fifth game in the BBL. So, you know, he's been really calm under pressure and shown that, you know, he's more than capable in, at, in this format. Do you have a sense this, this campaign, because we won it last year, the team's going to be harder or a bit differently? Or? I think they're always going to come hard, yeah. I think, I think, you know, there's no doubt that we became the hunted this year. But having said that, I thought, you know, everything we did, you know, off, off the field, our, our training and our preparation and planning was all brilliant. So... We just couldn't get it together on the field, unfortunately, and that's that's why we're not there at the business end. Uh, your first 50 for the club, what does it mean to you and um, how good is it working with the team? Yeah, like I said, I, I was keen to finish on a positive note today and, and get some runs, so happy with that. And um, Yeah, I've, I've loved it. It's you know I really enjoyed the inclusion of Div this year with the batting coach. I've done, done some work with him in the past, um, so to have him over, he's been brilliant as well and really helped me improve my game. Um, so, yeah, loving it. Yeah. <laughs>